Long before the solar batteries appeared and became popular, hand-operated anemone machines were used as independent power supplies. Sometimes they were referred to as sodium motors. The working principle of the device was as follows. The handle of the dynamo machine was turned manually. Through a reducer, the force was transmitted to the motor. The latter had a stator built on permanent magnets. When the motor works in the generator mode, voltage with amplitude of 4 to 30 watts appeared on the armature, producing current of several hundred milliamperes. Then the voltage can be applied to the power supply. With the help of the stabilizer, the voltage is lowered to a desired level. The pulses that can interfere with the work of radio equipment are suppressed. Throughout the 20th century, such generators were often used to power military and civil equipment in emergency situations. For example, battle generator for fuel station TM5 could supply voltages of 5 to 330 volts. This was necessary to power the lamp equipment. PZU5M was used during the 50s and 60s for powering transistor radio stations. Flashlights powered by dynamo machines were also popular. Today we can often meet household appliances, usually with flashlights that are powered by similar dynamo machines.